travel and food, and uh, we have uh, we're very very concerned about isolation. Um, people are uh, often not mobile, and so there is a great concern. And we've got speakers about that. And Nancy Foregray uh, speaking about um, uh, about the journey, you know, to plan, pre-plan. Uh -huh. We've had the legal clinic come on um, POA, mm -hmm. um, the isolation. So each month um, we have uh, different speakers, uh, CCAC come in and speak. So um, very appreciative um, youth who are at risk and uh, who haven't got a lot of opportunity to get out of the community. So this was formed three years ago and uh, we created a space for them. So we communicate about the fact that it is a safe space. And it is a drop-in, but it starts with a healthy, nutritious meal, sitting down together. So we have worked right now with about 27 youth in this past season and so it's a drop-in so typically we have 12 to 14 um, youth come to dinner and come and go and a lot of mentoring takes place so the six streams project we call it is a, an effort where we bring together our volunteers the farming and agricultural community citizen scientists students and academics have all come together to work on ways of creating clean, cleaner water entering the streams of the Bruce Peninsula, which as you know is designated 20 years ago as a biosphere reserve, one of only 18 in Canada. And, and the first uh, three years we, we sort of concentrated around six islands out there, but we are working in an area of about eight kilometers by three kilometers that's filling in with frag lakes. So, uh, this year, we will be bringing the trucksters back again, but moving into new areas to start cutting. So the trucksters cost $8,000 a day, and so we're funding them for two days. So we've been fundraising, and um, we applied for a grant and have been very kindly uh, given $3,000. So this money is going directly towards the amphibious cutters that we're funding for two days. Uh, two other groups are funding the trucksters for two other days, so they're coming for four days in August. 